Hi guys, welcome back to Clean Home Calm Mind and a special welcome to you if this is your first time to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am so glad that you'd found me today. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and I would love to have you join my internet family. Um, today's video is many, many days in the making. If you've been here for a while, you know that I had to get rid of my old rug thanks to our sweet, precious little dogs. Um, I liked the rug that I had, but I was ready for a change anyway, so it really just felt like a good time to do that. Um, so I finally picked a rug out and I ordered it on Amazon Prime Day for a really, really good deal. So anyway, that started kind of a snowball effect because then I finally decided to refinish this table that you see here. Um, Ryan and I actually picked this up from a neighbor for free back in October. So it's been sitting in my garage for like nine months just collecting junk and dirt essentially. <laughs> So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of top, sip and strop every time, you know I wanna I didn't film the entire process of this because it literally took me days to get it right. Um, but you may have seen this floating around on the internet somewhere, maybe Instagram. Um, but it's basically just refinishing wood furniture using Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Um, it's a really simple method and it doesn't require a lot of tools, so it's fairly inexpensive to do if you do it the correct way. Um, so you just cover whatever wooden piece you have in a thick layer of oven cleaner, let it sit for at least 20 minutes, and then scrub it down um, with a few drops of Dawn dish soap in warm water, rinse it off when you're done, and then you just repeat the process pretty much until you get the results that you want. It's getting kind of crazy up in here. Got that DJ playing music, everybody knows it here, yeah. It's getting kind of crazy up in here. Everybody wants a ride in the water. Throughout the video, I will show you the different phases of what the table looked like throughout the process. But I will also tell you that there was a considerable amount of, scr of scrubbing involved. I could have just sanded it, but I was actually really worried about losing some of the wood detail. Um, and I wanted more of an imperfect raw wood look as opposed to like a sanded unfinished look. So this is actually what the table looks like after two coats of oven cleaner being scrubbed down, 
rinsed off and dried out. So as you can see, it's still very splotchy in certain places. So I'm about to put on the third coat and I'm really trying to focus here on the areas that still seemed really, really dark. Um, and I would like to try this method again, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you now kind of what I would do differently. And if you're interested in trying it, be sure to listen to these tips because otherwise you will be like me and you will end up using about four cans of oven cleaner and probably three or four days of your time to get it done. So um, one of the things I would do differently, I think this method, method would work best on something with a lot more like intricate wood detail because then the oven cleaner can really get down into those crevices. Um, and I may have had better luck with actual wood stripper, but I had really been wanting to try the oven cleaner method for obviously nine months since I've had the table. Um, so I went ahead and did it, but like I said, I think there are some things that will would help this process go a lot better. So number two, I would have started out with the regular uh, Easy Off in the blue can. I started out with the heavy duty this time around because that's all the store had when I went to go get it at first and I thought that maybe it would work quicker being heavy duty but no that's that's not correct at all I got much much better coverage with the regular easy off and I felt like it penetrated that sealant and stain much better for whatever reason um, number three let it soak in the shade with the oven cleaner and then after you rinse it off let it dry in the sun so if you decide to try this method make sure that you will have a stretch of a couple of sunny days because the sun not only dries the wood faster it assists in the bleaching process um so like i said the whole table took about four cans of oven cleaner but i think if i had used the regular oven cleaner and let it dry in the sun each time it wouldn't have taken quite so many rounds to get it right Turn your back on me Maybe there's something I don't see Could you just Shed a little light Shed a little light Shed a little light on me Shed a little light Shed a little light Shed a little light on me Why'd you go And leave me here all alone In the shadows Could you just Shed a little light Shed a little before bringing my brand new rug into the house, I wanted to spray it with a stain protector and I'm using Scotch Guard, and I'll have it linked below. And I really, really wish I would have done this with my last rug because I feel like it probably would have lasted a whole lot longer. Um, but you live and you learn, I guess. Uh, I only did one coat of the Scotch Guard because I was running out of time. So I sprayed it, let it dry for almost two hours. And then while it was drying, I went inside the living room to clean it up to get it ready for the new rug. Shed a little light, shed a little light, shed a little light on me. Shed a little light, shed a little light, shed a little light on me. Why'd you go and leave me here all alone in the shadows? Could you just shed a little light, shed a little light, shed a little light on me? Since I had to move the couch anyway to make room for the rug, it was a perfect time to clean underneath them. And while it doesn't show well on camera, it was very gross under there. You know, there are areas where crumbs and dust just sort of fall down on the floor under the couch and it's impossible to reach unless the couches are moved out of the way. So I'm using my Tyneco wet dry vacuum to get it all clean before putting the new rug down and putting the couches back in place. Happiness gets nearer 
The light that we see closing in so fast ahead. It's hope, it's getting clear. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, you're nothing ever will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. It's hard to tell in this dark canister just how bad the water was, but this was very, very icky. So I'm glad I was able to mop all the nasty off the floor. So if you have a wet dry vac or you're considering getting one, then please make sure you're rinsing everything each time you, you use it. I made the mistake once of not doing that and it smelled so awful the next time that I went to use it. Um, I was able to clean up the roller, air it out, and now it's fine, but save yourself the trouble and clean it clean it out all immediately after you've used it. I absolutely love this rug. It brings in warmth with all the browns and the blues, but it's still on the neutral side, so it's not super bold, which is not my style really at all. Um, you can see my daughter here. She's helping me out. She stood on the corner of the rug to keep it from shifting while I move the couch pieces back into place. So now I'm just putting up some different curtains, which are obviously not the same ones that we started out with in here. Um, if you've been here for a while, you might recognize these curtains from another area in my house. They actually came from my bedroom. 
Um, a while back, I ordered the green curtains that were in here and I was never super happy with them. So I just didn't love the color and I'm not really a huge fan of the grommet curtains, but they're cheaper and for some reason so much easier to find. So I bought them anyway, but like I said, I was just never really that happy with them. My daughter said she had been wanting green curtains and so I moved those to her room, put the ones she had in my room and then put the ones in my room out here. So we're just playing curtain round robin over here, I guess. Um, I actually ordered something else from Amazon that I was wanting to get on or that I was still waiting on here. So this area will change just a little bit by the end of the video, but I still wanted to go ahead and get the curtains up. The last step before sealing the table is to give it a quick sanding with some very, very fine grit sandpaper to buff out any rough spots. There were a few areas where the old stain just would not budge that, and it left the table feeling a little bit rough. So I just wanted to get those areas nice and smooth. Um, so there was quite a bit of color variation in the wood, which was I was anticipating and it's actually what I wanted. So I'm really happy with it. Um, and I'm not too worried about getting it all the same color using the sandpaper or anything like that. If you're trying this method, be sure to use a tack cloth after sanding to get all of the debris off the piece before sealing it. I'm using Rust-Oleum polyurethane in a matte finish to seal the table. Um, and if this wasn't going to be used as a coffee table that will see a lot of traffic, I probably wouldn't be sealing it because the top coat does change the color just a little bit, as you can see, which is fine. Um, but just keep that in mind if you do try to do this. Um, and I, I'm using the matte sealer because I didn't really want anything to a sheen to it because in my experience that the sheen, like the shinier sheens actually darkens the wood a lot more than I wanted it to. Um, and I went ahead and brought the table inside to do this so that no debris would blow onto it outside and get stuck in the sealer. So now I just have to hope that the dogs don't get too close.
this long overdue conversation. I would fall in a we're almost done getting this table sealed and ready to go, so please definitely don't click off yet because we're almost done and I'm loving the results of the living room. It is so cozy and homey, so be sure to stick around and see the end result. Since I heard you were talking to someone else last night. the heart that hurts the most but i'm ready to let go so now i thank you for making it easy to leave i can hear myself breathing as i walk out the door Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today while I gave my living room a mini makeover. I am absolutely loving the way that it turned out. It feels so warm and cozy and just a place that I want to sit and enjoy my day all day long. <laughs> so if you haven't already and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye guys.